Hello, my crafty loving friends. Welcome to Repurpose My Way. I'm Shelly. Today I have a thrift flip for you with using scrap wood and a little teapot that I got at Goodwill along with a cool, cute shutter. So this is the little teapot I got at Goodwill. I think, I can't remember what it was. It was either two or four dollars. And I really think it's so springy and beautiful. I love the yellow and then the edges are trimmed in a dark green. So this would be great with a little candle in it, or you can do something different, which is what I'm gonna do today. So I got this shutter for $2 at Goodwill, and of course, like I've said before, I can't pass these up when I see them. I have a stack downstairs that I need to do something with. So in scrolling on Pinterest, I found a bunch of teapot garden ideas. And so I came up with this one so that I could use a shutter and some scrap wood. So I cut down a piece of scrap wood so that it was just wide enough, as wide as the shutter is. And then some little edges I cut off to just give it a little lip for my little teapot to sit in. And I'm going to stain everything. Well, first I'm going to sand it down. I didn't sand anything. So I'm just going to sand everything so it gives it a smooth finish because I am going to stain everything so it is looking cohesive. And if I have any rough spots, it doesn't uh, wipe the stain off very easily. It just sticks really hard. So it had a few little stickers or embellishments on the back of the shutter, so I just sanded those off. Now I'm going to take my dark stain that I use. This is uh, antique wax and water and a little touch of black paint, and I'm going to stain all the pieces, including the shutter. I want everything to be a, a cohesive color because I am going to be putting another color over the top just a kind of like a dry brush. So I wanted to make sure that uh, the color that comes through is all the same. So I just brush it on and then I wipe it back. And I love how this stain uh, sticks in certain spots and gives it a dark color. And then in other spots, it will leave the, or take away a lot of the color and just leave the stain and you can see the the wood through some pieces. Now I'm going to take folk art in forest moss color. This uh, is an awesome color. I've used this before in a few other videos and it's a surprisingly beautiful color um, using on using it on dark stain. It's just it looks gorgeous. So first I'm going to dry brush and do a light coat on everything. I like to just start light and then if I need more I'll add more later on. It just kind of gives me an idea of uh, what I'm looking for. I'm not really sure until you know I'm just happy with it. So and here we go. So I covered it mostly with the green but you can still see the stain through it. So I did just uh, sand it just a little bit, and this blends in the paint with the stain. It also uh, distresses it some, and it just gives it a more uh, cohesive look together. So now I'm just pre-putting in my nails. I'm going to be adding my little uh, bottom shelf there onto the bottom of my shutter, and so I want to put these in first before I... Uh, get started with nailing them in and that way I can just move right down the line when I'm ready to do that. I'm going to add a little bit of Gorilla Wood Glue. I want to make sure this stays together in case somebody picks it up and moves it around or even wants to hang it and that way it will be nice and sturdy. So once the glue is in there I'm just going to nail it down and when that dries, that should be really good and not go anywhere. Now 
I'm taking some more wood glue and I'm going to put my little lit pieces on to my little shelf. This is just going to add a little bit of detail and just make it look good with the pitcher or the teapot inside. And uh, I don't know, I just think it gives it a nice finished look. Once I glued the side pieces in and made sure they were where I wanted them, I took a little bit of green paint and again just dry brushed over the top so that the bottom looked just like the shutter and just to give it some interest too and make them look like they belong together. found this little spout somewhere along my journey and I kept it in my goodie box and I decided I wanted to use that on this piece. So first I took this drill bit and drilled a hole where I wanted the middle of my spout to fit or my spigot and then I took a paddle bit and this makes a hole all the way through and it makes it a little bigger and I just went right down through the shutter. So once I made sure it fit in the hole, I used some E6000 and stuck that in there after I sanded the hole down just a little bit and stuck it in, but I wanted to use it right away and I knew the E6000 would take a while. So I did flip it over and add a bunch of hot glue in the back to help hold it in. Now when I did that, the glue seeped down around the crack and it came through the front. So I wanted to cover that up and I didn't want to try and get it off because I knew that it was holding my little spout in there. So I just took some twine rope and wrapped it around the glue so that it would cover that up. And that worked really well. took my stain brush and just went around the spigot and in a few spots to make it look a little worn like somebody had been turning that little faucet on and off. I also went and found in my stash this home sweet home sign and I really like like it and want to put it onto my creation but it was a little bit too bright so I wanted to dull it down with a little bit of the stain so I just took what was on my brush and brushed it on there and then wiped it back to give it a little bit of a uh, distressed old aged look and then I also took the edge of the brush once I was done wiping that back and gave it a little bit of a highlight around the edges of the darker stain and that seemed to bring the sign out a little bit more and make it look a little bit more aged as well. I added it to the front of my little shelf and see what you think of my little creation.
link to my Etsy shop will be down in the description below. So if you're interested in purchasing this product or some of my other products that I have, you can check it out. Please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe if you haven't already. And have a great day.